Washington Commanders linebacker Jamin Davis sees his new position change as an opportunity to be better. So do I. Let's talk about it. Off field. Left. What I want. Give back slow. I love the way she rock it. I love the way she move it. Move it. Shake it. Oh man. When she clap for him. The shawty is the winner. You can tell that shawty love with your eyes. She's confident. I love the way she move it. YouTube, what's going on? It's your man Juan Gotti here. We want to roll to 8,000 subscribers, so we greatly appreciate it if you can reach there as soon as possible. Details on the giveaway is coming out Monday. You must watch that video in order to proceed with your entry in the giveaway. And details on the 1v1 that I'll be hosting July 13th is also going to be attached to that video. So big video coming out Monday. Stay tuned for everything. All right, let's get to it. So Jamie Davis, as we know, we drafted him 2021. Linebacker. And he really hasn't necessarily panned out to the 19th overall pick that we spent on him. However, all of it isn't necessarily his fault. Coaching, uh, wrong positions, and him just, you can say he was drafted too early. I think so. I don't think he was a first-round pick, but obviously he killed the combine. So that that made Ron River and the last regime feel like they needed to take him at 19. I think he's more of a third-round pick, but that's neither here nor there. Now, with the new regime coming in, they see Jamin Davis as a person that can come off of the edge. Hmm, who's a Washington Commanders fan and a YouTuber that's been saying that for the past two, almost three years now? This guy, I've been saying uh, um, Jamin Davis should have been coming off the edge, been used in a Michael Parsons kind of role, and it seems like that's what this new regime is going to do. And how fitting is that this new regime coached Michael Parsons last year and for the last couple of years, ever since he's been in the NFL, rather, that when they get here, they see a guy that has similar athletic traits. Now, I do want to go out there and put it out there and make it known. I'm not saying Jamin Davis is Michael Parsons. I'm not saying he will even be as good as Michael Parsons is off the edge. But what I am saying, he has the athletic tool and the athletic bag as a Michael Parsons. Now, if you look at Dallas and look at how Michael Parsons was used, he's used primarily off the edge, but they do have formations where he is a stand-up linebacker. Now, I think that's where Jamie Davis benefits the most. As a chess piece, move him all around the defense. Who says he has to just be a stand-up um, outside linebacker or inside linebacker, off the ball, on the ball linebacker? He can be anything in this defense, a rover, a linebacker, an edge rusher, a, a guy that goes getting the quarterback. That's what he can be. And that's where I feel like they failed to realize. His best work comes when he's going to get the quarterback. Now, he, being Jamin Davis, is getting work as an edge rusher, and he sees it as a new opportunity, and he is embracing it fully. Now, let's go ahead and read this article straight from WashingtonCommanders.com and on Jamin Davis and him embracing his new role. It says, the Washington Commanders are trying everything to see how the players on their roster can help best win them games. There were about a dozen players catching kicks during Wednesday's special teams drill, and offensive lines, uh, offensive linemen were being placed at different spots to find their best five and players in the group. Linebacker Jamie Davis, Washington's first round pick in 2021, is one of the many players trying something new in practice. His new defensive coaches are trying him out as a stand-up pass rusher in certain situations, and he loves it. He quoted this: "I'm having a lot of fun." With this so far, Davis told reporters June five, June fifth, Davis placed in Washington's defense. Defense has been a uh, quandary. Uh, the team has struggled to solve since he first joined the team out of Kentucky. He started out as a middle linebacker before moving to the outside, which seemed to be more of a fit for his skill set. He was play, he was on pace to have a career year, but his shoulder injury forced him to miss the final four games of the season. Now, with a new coaching staff and philosophy in place, Day Davis is making another change, one that his coaches believe will give him the best chance to succeed. They quoted this. And we're trying to really push him specifically um, specifically on the versatility, said head coach Dan Quinn. So you'll see him working on some with the defensive line. You'll see him working with the pass rush specialist, Ryan Kurgan, on the side. And we're adding parts to his game that maybe we didn't use and we're certainly trying to explore that. 
Again, this is a guy that had Michael Parsons up close and personal, so he knows exactly what it takes to have a edge rusher play at an all-pro kind of level. And you got Ryan Kerrigan helping him out, too, who is one of Washington Commanders, uh, Washington Redskins, uh, best pass rushers of all time. So he has all the help in the building that he needs to be successful. And, again, a guy like me that's a fan of the team that's not no football guru but has watched enough football to know his best work would be from the edge – I think this is an awesome move for him. Remember, I still think one of his best plays was a couple years ago, the last game of the season versus the Giants, where it was an end around. He absolutely just blew it up. You see bits, spurts, and you know pieces of his ability, but it's just never been able to be been put together. So hopefully Dan Quinn, hopefully um, Joe Witt, Joe Witt can help put that together. Ryan Kerrigan and, and the rest of the defensive line unit and defensive coaches can help put Jamie Davis in the best position to be successful because. I want him to be successful. I think he has all the tools in the bag to be successful. It's all about can these coaches get it out of him. But let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. It seems like Jamie Davis is totally in love with the idea of him playing edge. Now, again, it's just what they're doing in practice. There's nothing set in stone. But unlike Emmanuel Forbes catching punts and other players practicing at other positions that they most likely won't play in real games, I think there is a chance and a possibility this guy right here, Jamie Davis, will be an edge rusher for the Washington Commanders this season. The most of y'all guys think about it down below in the comment section. As always, me, boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hail to the Washington Commanders. I'm out. Peace.